name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV, and I've been teaching rebounding workouts for over 20 years. Today's workout is a 15-minute health bounce and body movement class. Well, what, what do I mean by body movement? We are going to open up our joints. We are also going to be doing a little bit of hip hinging, squatting, pushing, and pulling. These are movements that you need for every day living. When you get done with this class, you're going to feel revitalized, re-energized. You're going to feel just a sense of oneness. Your body's going to feel great and your joints will be open. So this is a great workout when you uh, are fatigued, when you're tired, you're coming back from illness, or you just want to work out that you feel just really, really good, you guys. 15 minutes start to finish. Let's go. We're going to start with that beautiful health bounce right here. Two minutes health bounce. So let's talk proper body alignment. All right, don't roll to the outside of your foot. Don't roll to the inside of your foot. It's going to bother me. Welcome, everyone. Let's start with that health bounce. Every move I do is two minutes. You go at your own time and your own pace. This is a beautiful beginner rebounding workout for your body. The goal by the end of class is to feel re-energized, revitalized, and just a sense of tension and stress just to leave your body. It's a feel-good beginner rebounding class. So as we're doing our health bounce and we're pressing down into the mat, let's talk about those proper foot mechanics. I don't want you to roll on the outside of your foot, nor will you roll to the inside of your foot. Nice and neutral and even. Evenly distribute the weight between your right and left foot. Your knees are not caving in and your knees aren't going towards the outside of the wall. Let's talk about what I mean by that, Angie. Your hip, knees, ankles, and toes are pointing forward. They're not going this way, this way, this way, or this way. Hip, knees, ankles, and toes are pointing forward. Now let's talk about those shoulders. Those shoulders are rolled back, set down, and away from our body. Our chest is tall and proud and open. There's no tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. All right? Now we're focusing on the press down into the mat. So we're evenly distributing the weight between that right and left side, and we're evenly pressing down into the mat. You're not rolling forward on your toes, and you're not all the way back on your heels. Nice and neutral. Can you do that for me? This is always where you're gonna go for active recovery. Now we're gonna just start marching. Now let's talk about that stability bar. If you have any balance issues, you're gonna hold on to that stability bar. Your feet are hip width apart, and we're pressing down into this mat. I am using a Jump Sport 550 Pro. Look in the description box below. It is my go-to rebounder workout rebounder. I own a Bellicon, two Jump Sports, and a Leaps and Rebounds and I prefer my leaps and rebounds and overall my jump sport 550. So is that chest tall and proud? We're using those arms and we're pressing down into the mat. Yeah? Got that big, beautiful smile on your face. Woo, we all know the human body needs to move, right? So rebounding is a perfect low impact exercise. Let's talk about why I love rebounding. It is beautiful for the lymphatic system and our immune health. Well, did you know this? The lymph system bathes every cell carrying nutrients to the cell 
and waste products away. The lymph is totally dependent on physical exercise to move. So look, we're moving, that's a blessing. Rebounding is reported to increase lymph flow by 15 to 30 times. Wow, don't we all love rebounding? Now from here, we're gonna go into heels. We're gonna just take those arms up right here. Whoo, starting to feel that beautiful oxygen circulate throughout your body. So let me show some options for people. This is a beginner rebounder exercise or workout. So you can hold on to your stability bar. You need that extra support and you're just lifting one hand and then you just make sure you do the other hand to even, even it out. So that's up to you. Whew, this workout is beautiful to do two to three times a week. If you are a beginner rebounder person, if you feel you have any balance issues, this is a beautiful workout you can do and hold on to that stability bar the entire time. Now, I want you to tap those toes and we're gonna do a little chest press in and out. So again, look, if I had a little bit of a balance issue, I'm holding on to my stability bar and I'm doing one hand and I make sure I do that other hand. Again, two minutes each exercise. So you get to pick and choose how fast, how slow you're wanting your body to go. So there's no tension whatsoever in your upper body. So shoulders are set back, down and away from your ears. Of course we have a natural core engagement. Yeah, because we're on an unsteady, unstable surface. So when you are on an unstable surface, your core naturally engages because if it didn't, you would fall over. <laughs> so we have a beautiful natural core engagement right here, working that chest as we're pushing those arms in right here. Anytime you're tired, modification, you can just focus on the tap for a little bit and then you can add the arms so you can alternate. How about that? It's up to you. Pick and choose. This is your beginner rebounder workout. There's no right or wrong here. You just want to move your body. All right, come in the center. I'll show you the next exercise. Left hand is touching the top of the right knee. Look, your hand can be on the stabilizing bar. We're taking that right knee and we're crossing the midline of our body. So we're starting to work some of these rotational patterns. Just getting into it. So try to take that hand and knee past that belly button. Hold on to that stability bar if you need to. Up to you. Soften in that left knee. Don't roll to the outside of your foot. Do you feel that major balance challenge? Yeah? Well, that's a beautiful part of rebounding. You're gonna improve your overall balance. Stick with me. I know you will. Are you ready for that left leg, right arm? Again, hold on to that stability bar. Soft bend in that right knee as I'm just coming up. Slight rotation. That left hip has to guide to the right side of that body. So there's my stability bar or hand on your hip. Right here. Woo! You are so blessed that you get to move your body. 
right? There are so many people that would love to be able to move independently, get a shower on their own, dress themselves, eat themselves, eat their food by themselves, not eat themselves. You know, we have the blessing of body movement. Please never take that for granted. Really count all your blessings. Enjoy body movement, you guys. Come in the center, take it wide. Now I just want you to start side to side, pressing. Starting to do that body weight side to side. Now you can hold on to that stability bar right here. We're not jumping, we're pressing down into the mat. So right now I want you to focus your heels side to side and you're pressing down. Right heel, left heel, hands on your hips. So we're starting to work with that lateral movement with weight distribution here. So I want the heels to do the press down. Can you do that for me? So just feel that weight sway right to left. Feel that right heel and that left heel. Don't roll on the outside of your foot or on the inside. Get going. You got it. All right, walk it in the center. Now, we're gonna walk in the center and we're gonna walk out. You can walk in the center a couple and you can walk out a couple. Yeah, really challenging your balance. Let's go. So you're just walking in for a couple and walking out. Again, hold on to that stability bar. It's absolutely okay. We're working with our own body's weight, this unstable trampoline surface. As we walk center and we walk out wide, we're focusing on bringing those knees up towards that belly button height. If you can, regular arms, if you're not holding on to a stability bar, right here. Beautiful march. And out. Looking good. Focusing on that press down into the mat. Woo! Let's go. Shoulders set back down and away from your ears. All right. So last one out. I want you to take it in. One last final challenge. We're gonna bring our knee up and up. Now you can hold on to that stability bar. Try to get your knee a little higher than that belly button height. Now, if you want an extra challenge, why don't you interlace your fingers and I want your pinkies to touch top of that thigh. Wow, you feel your balance being challenged? Again, you can have one hand or two hands. Up to you. Yeah, I want you to still focus on that press down. Looking good. Woo! When you're balancing on one leg, wow, that's a tremendous core challenge. Tremendous overall body stabilizing challenge. I love to be on this unstable surface to challenge my body, to grow my body. You must challenge your body in order to grow your body. You must challenge your body in order to grow your body. Come on. Now another option, hands on your hips. 
this might be good for you. Just taking it to hip height. You've got to listen to your body at all times. That's what it's all about, you guys. All right, I want you to go back into the health bounce, just like how we started last minute. Again, nice and even between that right and left leg. Hip, knees, toes, ankles pointing forward. Shoulder set back. You're not rolling on the outside of the foot. You're not rolling on the inside of the foot. You can feel, feel as a visual that you're pressing down through your heels. Soft bend in your knees. Activate your hamstrings, activate your glutes. That sets that foot more neutral. When you feel you're pressing down nice and even between that right and left heel. Today's workout was very beautiful, very quick. You should feel re-energized, renewed. You should feel really good and you should feel super proud of yourself that you completed this beginner rebounding workout. Deep breath in. You're in that health bounce still. And exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And a beautiful exhale. If you want, sit here. Do the health bounce for the next couple minutes and then get off. If you feel you're done, you're done. It was a beautiful day to be with you. Comment below and let me know what you thought of this class. Do you feel re-energized, renewed, and do you just feel good right now? Until next time, Angie, Angie Fitness TV.